Well, uh, yeah, good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon here in, um, in Gala Shields. Uh, I came across this article, I um, can't remember exactly where, uh, either yesterday or the day before, it might have been the day before, um, or was it first thing yesterday? It doesn't really matter. We'll have a look at it, obviously, because of the <laughs> poignancy of the subject matter. fact that uh, this is a, a case of um, a lady getting clemency in California and uh, obviously we would like um, Governor Tony Evers to do hi Sean to do the same for Brendan in Wisconsin um, what I found interesting was the procedure in California. So let's have a look at the article then. Here's, here's the article in question. So it's the it California Innocence Project client who was convicted of murdering her three children, children in a house fire released. And here we see with their exonerate hoodie and t-shirt on. This is um, Joanne Parks on the left and attorney Raquel Cohen. And they celebrate Parks released from prison on Tuesday. Okay. But here's the interesting thing. Joanne Parks was granted clemency last year and she was released on parole as her San Diego based attorneys continue fighting to exonerate her. So this is by Alex Riggins, January 5th, 2021, and he writes for, sorry, he or she, I apologize if it's a she, the San Diego Union. Tribune. San Diego. Joanne Parks suffered the ultimate injustice. Let's make sure everything's coming through right. I do have this tendency of sometimes forgetting to put the Screen up. Ah, everything appears to be working okay. Also, um, I've tried when I'm not doing live chats and when it's just me talking, I've tried on this occasion removing the headphone just wondering if the sound is any better um there's not a lot i can do about the sound it's Streamyard, um but if that helps the matter all well and good um if it makes it worse just let me know and i'll plug it back in okay where did we get to why don't we start? Start from the top here, yes. So, um, San Diego, Joanne Park suffered the ultimate injustice nearly three decades ago when, based on faulty science, huh, faulty science, eh? Where have we come across that before? She was convicted of murdering her three children who perished in a house fire that she escaped. So, three children killed in a house fire, and due to faulty science, she's convicted for 30 years nearly 30 years so far where, where have we come across faulty science being used to convict somebody oh yes Stephen how on earth did they did he, him and Brendan manage to 
destroy a body to the extent that it was destroyed in just the two and a half, three hours that they had the bonfire. Um, and of course, Brendan is the only one that was found guilty of mul mul mutilating a corpse. Um, but of the, of the time that they had to, to do this awful crime, we now know that they had to dismember the body. I mean, that wouldn't have taken, that wouldn't have been a five minute. Anyway, let's carry on. Let's carry on. I, I think you can all appreciate the, uh, the parallels. Um, they're so obvious, aren't they? On Tuesday, Parks 54, what Stephen now? 57, 58? Walked out of prison on parole, free for the first time in 29 years, thanks to the work of the attorneys from the California Innocence Project, located at downtown San Diego's California Western School of Law. At the time of her conviction in Los Angeles County, prosecutors alleged Parks started the fire that killed her children. She was convicted on three counts of first-degree murder and sentenced to life in prison without parole. You know, you can just imagine, can't you, the prosecutor really laying it on really thick in trying to prosecute this, uh, this woman. Hmm. But in 2011... An arson review panel reviewed the evidence in Park's cases and concluded the fire was most likely an accident, according to the California Innocence Project. Ultimately, the panel concluded that, by modern standards, none of the allegedly incriminating evidence against Joanne would withstand scrutiny today, the Innocence Project attorney said, said. The investigators and jury were misled by bad science <laughs> or no science at all. <laughs> Governor Gavin Newsom granted Parks clem clemency last year and the state parole board agreed to release to her release, which, as I say, happened just two days ago. Her attorneys said, they will keep working to exonerate her. I will continue to fight to get her conviction overturned, Raquel Cohen, the primary Innocence Project attorney on the case, said in a statement, but now I will get to do it while she is enjoying her freedom. Justin Brooks, director of the California Innocence Project, said he was thrilled that Parks, Joanne Parks, was free. Nothing could be worse than losing your children and then being wrongfully convicted of their murder, Brooks said in a statement. As we learn more about the science of fires, Hopefully, these kinds of wrongful convictions will no longer occur. Now, Parks was one of a dozen incarcerated individuals the California Innocence Project dubbed the California 12, noting their particularly strong claims of innocence. Ten of the 12 have been exonerated, Paroled, had their sentence commuted or verdict reversed. So I was right, actually. Yes, Alex, Alex Riggins. Um, so there we go. I say it's easy to see the, the parallels with uh, Stephen Brendan. Okay, that's, uh, that's all I've got time for today. Some of us have got work to do. We know we can't just uh, sit watching YouTube videos. Anyway, um, we'll catch you all again soon. Uh, if not before, then um, Saturday morning, my time at uh, 7 o'clock till 8 o'clock, or is it 7.30 till 8.30? Well, it might even be 8 till 9 my time. 
But anyway, uh, I'm going to have a chat with uh, Tracy Keogh. And then, of course, um, Saturday evening, we'll have to do it before the Packers game, obviously. But uh, myself and Pete Dassey will have another chat about how things are things are going over there in Two Rivers. He's been busy on his uh, Dassey radio. So, uh, anyway, catch you all again soon. Bye for now.